Hi everyone, it's Joni at Granny J Clay. And for those of you that might be new to my channel, I am taking a break from clay right now because sometimes you just need to take a break from what you've been doing and do a few other things. So now I'm doing a few Christmas things. And I'm sure I'll be back to clay, but eh, we'll see how it goes. I have some wire here in front of you, um, in front of me, I guess. And I'm going to make a little Christmas tree out of it. And I want to show you what they look like. They look like this. Aren't those the cutest little things? Uh, you can use them as um, tags on a Christmas package, you know, when you have the name. And then you could attach that with a ribbon next to it. Um, let's see, I've got, I've got this kind of ribbon that you could use. Or it's kind of a twine. Let's see, what do they call it? Baker's twine, maybe? Um, and this is, yeah, red and white twine, Baker's twine. And I've got, so I've got it in red and white, and I've got it in green and white. And I plan to use it for, for these and for some other things as well. But I thought they were so cute. I just really enjoyed making these. Let me show you a little bit more, a little closer. Well, maybe I, what I can do is take these out and bring you down. There you go. And once I've got it all bent um, and made like a little Christmas tree, then what I do is I pound it. I've got this block that I use, this block, very heavy steel, heavy block. I use that and I grab this and I use my hammer, a little hammer. And I wrap, I actually wrap the tree um, in a washcloth and lay it on top of the block and then I hit hit it and um, it makes a pretty design on the on this too once you sprayed it with the gold spray which is this so this is really good rust-oleum uh, gold metallic and it's down here it says fast drying indoor use only metallic gold great this is a great one to use and it truly does it once you spray them, they're just in a few minutes, they're really quite dry. Um, I got this at Walmart. I think it was maybe $5.99. I think so. Anyway, so let me just show you how I make this tree. I'm gonna hold on to this. Sometimes I straighten it, and then, uh, then the, the straightened part gets in my way. So let me see if I can do it this way. And I have this, and it's, it's kind of like a mandrel, uh, it's a Weber tool. Um, I put a little extra money into this some years ago, and boy, was it worth it. I've used it and used it and used it. It has two different sizes to it. I'm not sure what size they are as far, as far as millimeter, but so I'm going to start at the end here, and I'm going to I'm going to try to get it to line up so that it doesn't come through, and then I'm going to bend it and keep working my Webers around it until I get a little loop. And this is so pliable. This, this is very, very pliable. And so you can be very um, firm with it when you want to turn it and place it elsewhere. It's, it's really, I'll show you as I go along because I do that. Anyway, let me show you how we continue on. I think it's, uh, this is florist wire and I had this from, oh, many years ago. That's why I'm using it. This is more of a lime green green. I have ordered a Christmas green and hopefully that will come soon. And then I won't probably spray that and I'll, I'll be much more careful about how I'm doing it because um, because I won't be spraying it. All right, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make sure that this is straight out and it doesn't look like it is. So I'm going to come back in and I'm just going to... Okay, that's not too bad. All right, now I'm going to come right next to it, right beside it, right here. Let me see, what can I point with? I'm gonna come right, right beside it, right here. And I'm gonna, depending on what size you want the next loop, I'm gonna use the smaller of the two. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm, I'm gonna come right beside that loop, first loop that I made. I'm going to hold it. As you can see, I'm gonna hold it. And now I'm gonna take it I'm going to take my Weber and I'm going to let it do the work for me. I'm going to turn it. 
I'm going to release it, and I'm going to show you what I have. So there's the first uh, little hoop, like this one up here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is the same thing over on this side. I'm going to line it up just outside this loop, like that. Okay, now I'm going to let the wubbers do the work for me. Let it turn, and then I kind of push the wire in. And like I said, this is easy to push around. So there's two of them. I'm going to do another one over here. And I still want to use the smaller of the two mandrels. So I line it up. It's kind of hard to hold this other part of this. Okay, and I'm going to let the wubbers do the work for me. And I'm going to turn it like that. Oops. Like that, and I'm going to push this up. And so I've got another one. And I'm going to open up my wire a little bit more here, my roll. And I'm going to go over here. I'm still going to use the smaller of the two on, on my Weber tool. And I'm going to let the Weber again do the work for me. So I'm going to turn it like that. I don't know, I don't know why that does that. Hang on just a second. I need to I need to come out a little bit further on that one I guess. It's nice you have a, a a tool you can straighten your wire with, and it's nice that this wire is so bendable. Okay, so I'm going to come out here, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bend it now, up and around. There we go. There we go. And you see how it's already starting to look like a tree? Once you get done, you can push it up and down and just kind of do what you want with it. And I'm going to use the bigger, um, the bigger side of my Weber's tool. I'm going to, so I'm going to put it underneath because I want it to follow that pattern. And I'm going to let the Weber uh, do my turning for me. And I, I lined it up right on the outside of that loop, half, not, uh, unclosed loop, that's what I'll call it. And I bring it around, there we go. And there's the next one. Okay, I'm open up my wire a little bit more and push this back up a little bit. And sometimes if it gets out of, if it's misshapen a little bit, because this, it, it tends to do that once in a while, just s s wait a minute and just play with it a little bit and you can bend it. You know, there's a lot of wire that we work with when we make jewelry, we can't bend like this, but this you can. All right, and I'm gonna line it up over here, and I'm gonna let my Weber's do my, my work for me. Again, and I use the, the larger size, okay? So I'm gonna bring it around, kind of out here, and maybe I'll move it out just a little bit more. Okay, now I lay it down, and I'm gonna push it a little bit. Push it more on this side. And you're thinking, that doesn't look much like a tree. Well, it will when we're done. Okay, now I'm gonna take another one out here. And I'm gonna let my wubbers do the work for me again. Okay, and I'm gonna come out a little bit further. And bend it, okay. And maybe you can make better loops than I can. But there, see, you can see how it's starting to look like a tree. Now I'm going to make my last one, and then I'm going to make this bottom curly cue there. The tree stand, or whatever you want to call it, I guess. Okay, I have to move out my wire a little bit. And I think I'll come out a little bit further than that. I'm going to let my wubbers again do my work for me. And I'm going to turn it. Oops, turn it, and turn it, and turn it, and push it up with my hand. Okay, so this is what I've got. This one might have gone out a little bit too far. But this is what I have so far. And of course, it doesn't look as pretty as the ones I made before, but you can see how this works. Let me just, um, I'm going to cut it off, and then I'm going to bring the trunk in a little bit for you. Um, I probably have too much there. Okay, now I am going to take, um, 
I'll probably use this smaller one and I'm just going to roll it in. So I'm lining it up there. I'm just going to take it and just simply bring it in. And you don't have to have as many turns as I've, I'm having on this if you don't want to. Now I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to make sure that I've got a nice um, loop here. I don't want that overlapping. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's probably not exactly the way you want it, but you've got the idea it is a Christmas tree. So what I do is, like this one, I push it up in the middle. You know how a tree comes down? It doesn't go straight out like that. So that's what I did. I kind of push this up like that, bring this down a little bit, bring this one down a little bit. See how you can pull that? And then bring this down a little bit. Oops. And then bring this one down a little bit. This one wants to have a funny, I'm gonna open it up a little bit. Yeah, you can do that. It has a little bend that's kind of funny right there, so. Okay, push it back down. Okay, now I'm going to bring this up here, and I'm gonna kind of hold on to it, and I'm gonna bring it down, pinch it. You can just play, play, play with this. Isn't that nice? Um, and I got kind of a bend in that one too, but that, it'll work. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. You get the basic idea of what you want to do. And I kind of make it bowed out just a little bit. I kind of bow it in the middle. Okay. Now I want to just show you what I do. I won't pound it for you because it would be way too loud. But let me just bring this in, put this down. And I've got an old, just an old washcloth that I use for wiping up spills and spots. It's clean though. And I'm gonna lay this right here. And I said I cover up both sides, but I don't. I did, when I first, when I made my first one I did, but I didn't like how it, how it came out. So I'm gonna pound a little bit for you. So if you'd rather not hear this, plug your ears, um, and it goes quite quickly. So I'm gonna just start down here. I wanna make sure it's flat. And just kind of work my way up the tree. Be careful, I hit my finger once doesn't feel very well very good and then I just kind of turn it and you're asking why why do I have the washcloth well it makes a pretty print on the back I don't know if you can see that or not but it, it, it makes the print it almost looks like an evergreen print because it's taking the print of this old washcloth believe it or not all right I'm gonna come around I would pound more than this, but I just want to give you the basic idea. Okay, that's what you would do. You would pound it till you got it where you wanted to have it. And um, you can still push it a little bit, but once you pound it, you're work hardening it. So make sure you've got it where you want it. Oh, that looks pretty. That's, it's not too bad, is 